example, in the same surah, Allah speaks about the Christian people who in time to come will be the closest of all people to you Muslims in love and in affection. That you will find in time to come that those who will have the greatest love and affection for you Muslims will be those who say we are Christians. So Allah could not be speaking about all Christians when he says don't take them as your friends and allies. Hmm? But before we continue with that verse of Surah Al-Ma'idah, do not take them as your friends and allies. Let us spend a little moment on this one. That in time to come you'll find those who are closest in love and affection for you Muslims would be those who say we are Christians. Are we allowed to ask the question? Who are those Christians? Where are they in the world? Can we identify them? In order to answer that question, where do we start? You always start with the Quran. The Quran explains itself. Does the Quran identify any Christians with whom we have a friendly relationship? That's the question. If the Quran identifies such a Christian people, we don't need to go beyond the Quran. Yes, the Quran does identify a Christian people with whom we have a friendly relationship. It does so in which surah? The entire surah is named after them. Surah to Rum. Rum. Who is Rum? There are those who would, without any shame, without even any blush, would declare that Rum is Washington and Rome is NATO. <laughs> yes, a people with no sense of shame at all and with not even a, a fraction of an iota of scholarship in them. Allah speaks of Rome only once in the whole Quran. The word Rome appears only once in the whole Quran. And here it is. بَعْلَوْزُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ Alif Lam Meem One day I believe if we use the proper methodology and after all the events have unfolded that are to unfold someone will be able to explain Alif Lam Meem Alif Lam Ra yeah, I see. But only after you use the proper methodology. So far, no one has done it. So we leave it there. Alif la meem, ghulibatir rum. Rum has been defeated. This is the accepted reading of the verse. The passive tense. Room has been defeated. Fiadn al Ard. Room has been defeated in a land close by. They couldn't stand for Washington. There was no the United States of America when the Quran was revealed. There was no NATO when the Quran was revealed. Have they no sense? Rome has been defeated in a land close by. But the Quran is prophesying, divine prophecy, that after their defeat they are going to be victorious. How soon? 
في بدع السنين in just a few years not a long period of time did this happen? yes it did who was it? it was the orthodox Christian Byzantine Empire which had its capital in Constantinople and they were defeated in the land close by by the Persian Empire and then within a few years they were able to turn the tables and they were victorious over the Persian Empire this prophecy divine prophecy in the Quran was fulfilled Lillahi al-Amr Decision-making is with Allah, not with NATO, not with the Security Council of the United Nations. Lillahi al-Amr. Decision-making is with Allah, min qabl, wa min ba'd. Min qabl, wa min ba'd. On the previous occasion, it was Allah who decided. And on the next occasion, it is Allah who will decide. So there's the next, there's another occasion when Rome will once again be victorious. Let us repeat that. This second one could not refer, as some commentators of the Quran would like us to believe, to the conquest of Makkah. Rome never conquered Makkah. No, the Quran is referring to a victory by room min qabl wa min ba and so there is a previous victory and then there is a subsequent another victory which is to come wa yawma izin yafrahul mu'minun and on that day on the previous occasion when room was victorious the Muslims or the believers celebrated and on that day which is to come on the other occasion when Rome will once again be victorious on that day the Muslims are going to celebrate bi Nasrillah with Allah's help yansuru may yasha Allah helps whomsoever Allah chooses to help. Wallahu Azizur Rahim. And Allah is powerful. And Allah is kind and merciful. This verse of the Quran clearly, without any ambiguity whatsoever, directs attention to a group of Christians with whom we Muslims have a positive relationship. And I'm not talking about the Ottoman Empire. No. I'm talking about the rest of the Muslims. The Ottoman Empire is a different kettle of fish from the rest of the world of Islam. <coughs> we have a positive relationship with Rome. And then when Allah says that in time to come you will find that those who have the greatest love and affection for you Muslims will be those who say we are Christians. Obviously, we can identify the Christians now with whom we'll have that loving relationship. The answer is Rome. Is Russia a part of Rome? Whoever says no should buy a one-way ticket to the moon. Go and live there. Don't come back here. Russia is most certainly a part of Rome. Russia is indeed the leader of Rome at this time. When Constantinople was conquered by the Ottomans, then the capital of Rome shifted. It could no longer be Constantinople. The Patriarch in Constantinople had to be a citizen of Turkey. 
<laughs> to be Turkish. <laughs> so that could not be anymore the capital of Rome. Moscow then replaced Constantinople. But whether Moscow re replaced Constantinople or not, you may want to argue with me. I don't have time to argue. What we are saying, and if I'm wrong, I invite you, my critics, to come forward with integrity. And don't hide behind pseudonyms. Use your name if you want to offer a criticism. This is scholarly integrity. If you want to criticize Imran Hussein and you're afraid to use your name, you're not a scholar. No. We say that Russia is a part of Rome. We are absolutely correct in that statement. And therefore there is a relationship between Islam and Russia. Because the relationship between Islam and Rome and Russia is a part of Rome. And that relationship is one which is positive. History may have a lot of blood in it that is otherwise. And you can blame the Ottoman Empire for that. But don't blame the Quran. 